You've been vaccinated. You've likely received one of these COVID-19 vaccination cards. A group of Missouri lawmakers wants to ensure that you don't have to whip this out in order to prove that you're protected from the virus. They're working to ban private businesses from requiring so-called vaccine passports from customers and workers. Some local business owners tell our Caroline Hecker that adding vaccine credentials could hurt their bottom line. It's a sign of a good lunch crowd at Cyburgs in Chesterfield, a full parking lot. It's a far cry from what it and other local restaurants have endured for much of the last year. We've gotten 99% of all the people back to work and business has rebounded very, very well. They've shifted their business model to what makes customers feel safe. For some, that means carry out. For others, it means socially distanced tables and masks. And as business rebounds, they say it's not the time to be steering people away with concerns over privacy. If the government mandated us to look for these cards, we would, but if not, we do not want to take the responsibility to, to make sure that they did. The amendment currently in the House aims to ban private businesses from requiring proof of vaccination, but the vote is facing a bipartisan opposition. But when you look into businesses that uh, are essential businesses that really run on having healthy people, when you talk about private businesses, you're talking about our hospitals. Um, right. You're talking about facilities that actually have to vaccinate people. Aldridge says the conversation should be had at a local level preventing private sector businesses like hospitals or nursing homes from having their hands tied. His Republican counterpart, Representative Jim Murphy, agrees. I don't believe the government should interfere with private private businesses. I don't think that uh, we should be telling businesses who and how they should run their business. Other local restaurant owners say customers are ready to move on from the pandemic and aren't too keen on giving out private information. I think it's just people in general want to be left alone and you know, be left to do whatever they want to do. The amendment has not yet made its way to the Senate. In St. Louis, Caroline Hecker, News 4.